Hello everyone, um, sorry I haven't posted another uh, basic tutorial in a while. Um, I've just been doing a bunch of crap and being really lazy and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, this is going to be lesson four of my uh, series of video tutorials on basic programming. And today we're going to go over a pretty simple subject, which is um, basically messing with strings using the mid and len functions. And um, so I guess we can go ahead and get started since it's not a very complex topic. Um, basically what these functions do, uh, they let you see the length of any string and pull out any bit of text from a string that you might want. So um, here's, uh, let's just get started. Um, First, I'm going to show you the mid function, which is really easy to use. Um, let's just declare a string. And let's make it, uh, let's say, let's put in Bob as our string value. So um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to declare another variable, and let's just call that one p, and let's make it an integer. Sorry if I make mistakes here and there, or confuse you. It's 5.30, well, not really 5.30, but five, pretty close to 5.30 in the morning, and uh, I'm tired and want to go to bed, but I was just really bored, so I decided to do this. So anyway, uh, p is going to be our... No, p is going to be a string. That's right. I remember what I was going to do. I think. No, no, we don't want a string at all. Okay. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to say if mid my string, which the way the mid function works is um, you type the mid, you put a parenthesis. You first parameter you're going to put is the uh, string that you're looking in, not really searching, but looking in. Um, the second value is how far in are you looking? We're going to put the second character. And how long should you look for? Um, for this, we're just going to use one character. I'll show you, well, I might show you an example later on, or you might figure it out yourself why you might need to use something longer than just one character to look for. Um, so basically, if the second letter in the my string variable um, is equal to O, then we're going to print yes, it is O. Okay, since it doesn't matter in this case. If and sleep. Now um, we can, uh, let's see. Well, basically, yeah, just going to run it and as you see, it says, yes, it is O, because the value is O, in fact. Now, um, let's uh, make another example of how you might use this to loop through a value and search for letters or something like that. Uh, and this will use the len function, too, so that'll, that'll help out a little bit in this lesson. Um, so we're still going to keep my string, and what we're going to do is make a for loop. Well, let's demo variable. Just to use for this loop. I don't remember if you have to or not, but I, it's good practice, so I'm going to do it anyway. <sighs> Man, I'm really tired. Um, okay, so for i equals, and here's the len function. Len, and then you put the uh, whatever string you want the length of. So, um, Basically, what it does is loops, or no, for i equals 0 to the length of my string. That's what we want to do. Sorry if I'm confusing you. Um, yeah. And we need my string to be a value, so let's say. Um, hello world is the value of our uh, my string variable. That's what it holds and all that. So in this loop what we're going to do is uh, since it's looping the whole way through 
each character is what we're going to do and search for a certain letter in that string. So basically what this program is going to do is it's going to loop through the my string variable every single letter, count up how many O's there are. I'm just going to say how many O's there are because, you know, it's simple, something simple to mess with. And um, it will return a value at the end and tell us how many O's there in fact are. And let's make another variable to hold the value of how many O's there are in the uh, string. So, in our loop, we're going to have an if statement that says if mid my string. Now, if you remember, the uh, second parameter is going to be where our looking in the string starts. So, in this case, it's going to be i is the location that we're looking at. Oh, and I forgot. We're going to want to make this 1, since if you try to search the 0th letter of a string, you're going to get an error. So um, we need to make that 1 just to start out with uh, and let you know that. Um, so basically, back to this, uh, it's going to search the whatever value i is. It's going to go through every letter, so it's going to increment each time we go through the loop. So it's going to go look at the first, second, third, blah, blah, blah in the string. And we only want to look one character ahead, um, so we just put that there. So if that, the uh, letter that we're currently searching at, equals O, then we want O's equals O's plus 1. So that that is incremented and we know how many O's we uh, have found in the string. And if and next i and at the end we're going to have print o's so that we know how many o's there were in fact in the uh, string that we're looking through so if you got that code there uh, it's a pretty simple little program um, and just to be safe we're going to set o's equals zero to begin with so we don't get an error, even though we probably wouldn't anyway. It's good practice. So we hit F5, run it, and after it searched through, it looked and saw that there were two O's in the Hello World string, which, in fact, if you look, there's one here and one here. So that worked fine, and it's all good. Now, what if we wanted to change that and put a few more O's in there just to show you that it does, in fact, work and do what it's supposed to? Um, let's put something with lots of O's, like boobs are good. That will have four O's in it. We run the program, and in fact, four O's are found. So, um, like I said, I was going to try and keep this pretty short, if I did say that, but yeah, I'm trying to keep it short. And, um... It's pretty simple. You, I've pretty much shown everything you can really do or need to do with the uh, len and mid functions. Um, probably the next tutorial that I'll post is might be or will be relating and using Visual Basic 6 because uh, that's what I use mainly and I don't really use straight basic code that much like Free Basic is anymore. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, have fun with this, make something new, and uh, I'll see you next time.